All right, another video on the season dealing with yourself. Seems like this is going to be a pretty long one. The more I elaborate it, the more ideas come up to, to my mind and um, I watch things and uh, they inspire me either because I agree with them or because I disagree with them into doing more videos. And um, today's video is, let's say, something that is going to sound for you a little pessimistic or disencouraging, but that's not my aim. I just don't want to lie and create illusions and uh, make you believe in things that are not um, real sometimes, you know? And today's video is about the dream that you are going to make it. Not only you, everyone is going to make it. Everyone is going to get there. All you need is hard work. All you need is to do things right and dedicate yourself and uh, put all the efforts possible in what you're trying to do. If you do that, you're going to make it. There is going to be no problem. This is sold to you by media that wants you to still believe and feed the system and people who got there and believe that they only got there because they are good, because of meritocracy. And uh, all these people have interests in selling you this idea. And I'm here to tell you, don't buy this idea. Try hard, do everything you can, uh, go chase your dreams, go after them. But if you can't make it, understand something. The system is built in a reversed, um, in a structured pyramid. So the top of it is a place where very few people will fit. And the bottom of it is a place where a lot of people will fit. In the system we live in, in the kind of society we live in, um, with the politics we have, we are not meant to get there, to the top. We are meant to stay here and be, let's say, uh, subservient to the ones in the top. That's the way the society is structured, or basically the world where we live in. Most societies are structured like that. And um, if everyone goes to the top, who is going to do the dirty job? Who is going to do the things that no one wants to do? And you know what I'm talking about, no? When you go to rich countries, for example, as an immigrant, and you get there, what is the job that you can do in general? The job that no one wants to do. That is not, in many cases, is not well paid. There are some jobs that people don't want to do and they are still well paid because of other questions. They don't want to deal only with the body. They want to be more mental and so on. They don't want to, to, to think that they are rude, that they are not ca capable of doing intellectual stuff. But most of these jobs are not the best ones, so to say. The ones that no one wants to do and that you end up doing and you, when you go from a poor country to a rich country as an immigrant. And the reason why I'm telling you that it's because if the world was meant to have all of us getting up there, there would be something wrong with the structure of the society. Some things would not work. Certain aspects of the society we are living in, the, the, the way it is structured, they wouldn't work. They wouldn't simply work. That's very easy. You cannot pretend that, I don't know, a car is going to work if all its pieces are modern. No, it needs wheels, it needs um, everything, you know, you cannot, the tires and everything, you cannot only move if there is only motor, you know, maybe it's not like a clear example because I'm not dealing with uh, human values or, or human society, but it's just an image that I want to give you on how in order to make a system, a full um, organism to work, you need many parts collaborating. You need many things collaborating. And um, in the society we live in, we need many things collaborating. And in order to have the people who get there, we need a lot of people who stay here, who never get there. Let me give you an example. Um, let's take, for instance, um, a soccer player a very famous, successful soccer player, considered one of the best in the world and one of the best in history, making a lot of money, earning a lot of titles. This one is normally used as an example. You are poor, you live in a poor community, you come from very simple origins, you just have to get there by hard working. Look at this guy, he made it. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. How many people in the soccer industry make as much money as this guy? How many people are in the soccer industry and are never seen by the media? Only have enough to pay for food and shelter. Sometimes not even for that. They live in the club, in the club's dependencies. And um, they eat from what the club has to offer them. Sometimes they don't even have the proper shoes to play. How many? And they are never in the media. You can go to every single area of life or almost every single aspect and consider that. The successful examples, the ones that have reached the, 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 the highest position possible in that area, being used as examples for everyone. Everyone can get there. And um, what I'm here to tell you is that you are probably not going to get there. And uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not saying that to disencourage you. I'm saying that to kind of give you the freedom of choosing what you want to do and knowing that you are doing it because you like it, because you are passionate about it, because you are interested in that. And if that brings you money, comfort, a successful position, what do I mean by a successful position? Because I don't like much of this term. Um, a position in which everyone admires you and respects you and you are recognized publicly by a huge amount of people by what you do. Um, if you get all that, it's just a bonus, okay? But it's not necessarily what is going to happen. I want you to think that you choose something and that you decided to do something because you are interested in that something, because you want to do that something, because somehow you identify with that something and because you think that that can bring you good things, not good things from the material perspective, from the financial point of view. No, it can make you a better person. It can make you someone who thinks better, who has wider horizons, who is able to think about different things, who has an open mind and maybe an even open heart and less prejudices, you know? That's what I wish for you, that you find something that fulfills you in that sense. Um, do we have to think on the practical side in life? Yes, we do have to think on the practical side in life because at the end of the day, um, given some exceptions, no one is going to pay for our bills. I totally understand that and I try to be practical as well. But I just try to not be enslaved to this perfect uh, perspective. I just try to not be a slave to the idea of I needed to pay the bills. That's the only thing that matters. I pay the bills and everything is good. And I can tell you that I am not talking about the most from the most comfortable position ever. You know, I've had a very comfortable position in my life. I've had a very horrible position in my life. And now I have just a normal position, so to say. So it's not that you're listening to a guy who is extremely successful according to what people believe uh, success is, who makes tons of money and it's in a super good place telling me, oh, okay, go chase your dreams and do things that fulfill you because you are never going to make it and so on. No, no, it's a guy who is in a situation similar to yours probably, you know, a normal, an average situation. And if you are in a horrible situation, I can tell you I've been there, okay, without a, a, a ceiling above my head, without knowing how I was going to have dinner by the lunchtime, you know. So consider this and don't let the, the mass publicity, the mass media, create illusions in your mind, illusions that everyone is going to be like at the mountaintop, that everyone is going to get there because this is what is being sold in this system we are living in, that is just a matter of hard work, it's just a matter of effort. And uh, I can tell you there are a lot of people who work hard and um, who make a lot of effort and they don't get there. And uh, please don't tell me that I am lying or that it's not like that because it's going to show only that you have this as a religious belief, as a truth that it's like unbreakable. And I have seen, I have seen competent people, people that were extremely dedicated, people that were good in what they did and didn't make it. I have seen people who were competent and made it. And you know what? I have also seen a lot of people without any competence, without any capacity, without any talent or anything that you want to consider a characteristic that would lead them to the top, reaching the top and reaching leading positions. 
Why? Because of contacts, because of uh, playing the game the right way, because of so many factors, uh, luck and all, all that stuff that had absolutely nothing to do with competence. Mm -hmm. See you in the next one.